this lesson for Bill Cheatham, we'll spend some time breaking down the phrases within the tune and we'll spend some time memorizing those phrases and piecing them together. Starting off the tune, we have this two finger chord. Our first finger is on fret two of string three and our second finger is on fret four of string two. We also want the open first string. So our fingers are holding this chord here and then we play the third string followed by both the second and the first strings together twice. So to start the tune, we have this. Okay, we'll come back to that in a second. Now, moving on to the next part, playing on string two. And string two, the notes that we want here are the open A, the second fret with our first finger, and the, th the fourth fret with our second finger. So this run of notes with those three notes gives us this. Open, two, four, two, open, four, two, open. So we'll try that again. We have open, two, four, two, open, four, two, open. So let's put that together with the opening chord. Three, four. Let's try that again. Starting with this first chord. Three, four. Okay, so with the picking, when we're holding the chord, we're playing quarter notes, so that's down, down, down. Then the next passage, we're playing down up for our eighth notes, and we have down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, let's learn a little bit more and then we'll come back to that. So next we have uh, the fourth and the second frets on string three using the same two fingers that we've just been using, and we're running down to the open string three, the open D. So here we're going to have four, two, open on the string three. Down, up, down. So let's go from the beginning again, and we'll, we'll get up to that open D string. Three, four. The open D string. Let's pick it up from there. We'll learn a little bit more, then we'll go back from the beginning again. So from that open D string, we then bring in this double stop for the D chord. We have our third finger on fret five of string two and our first finger on fret two of string one. So our double stop there, we're gonna start this passage off with that open D we just finished with, followed by the double stop twice. So that's open D, downstroke, then the double stop, twice, again as a downstroke. So open D, and the double stop on fret five and fret two. So back from the beginning, slowly we have this much. Three, four. One more time, three, four. Okay, let's pick it up from there. Now, the next two notes we have, the first of which is our third finger on that fifth fret of string two to the open first string with a down up pick stroke. And they're eighth notes, so down up, down on fret five, 
up on string one open. Then we're going to come in on a down stroke on fret two of string one. So we'll go once through from the beginning up to there. Three, four. Okay, now when we get to that note, that second fret, we're going to pause for one beat and then we're going to play that note again followed by the open string. So second fret on the first string to the open first string. We're going to follow that with this run down from fret 5 on string 2 to second fret on string 2 to the open string two and then fourth fret on string three so again that was fret five on string two as a down stroke up on fret two of that string down on open string two up on string three fret four so just before this passage we've got that double stop from the D, then the open fifth, sorry, the fifth fret on the second string to the open first, then the second fret, second fret again to the open string on string one, fret five on string two, fret two is an up on string two, open string two, up on string three, fret four. Let's go from the beginning slowly and we'll piece all of that together. Three, four. Okay, one more go. Three, four. Now at this point here, we're actually playing the same as we started with. So we're back to this double stop from the beginning. Played in the same way, followed by the same group of notes on the open first, uh, sorry, open second string, second fret and fourth fret. So, but we finish differently. We're going to finish by going back up to the second and fourth frets. So this passage here is open two four two open four two open two four. So now we're into the last two bars, the tag, before we repeat. Uh, but let's, before we do that, go from the beginning and see if we can play up to there. Three, four. Once more, three, four. Okay, 
Let's have a look at this last phrase. So from where we've just finished on fret four, we're going to move into third finger on fret five of string two. And the first uh, few notes here, we have quarter note on this uh, fifth fret, then same note again, followed by an up on string one open, then fret two on string one, up on fret five, back to fret two, followed by the open string as an up. So we have this. One more time. And we'll learn this final measure, which is gonna take us to fret four of string two. And we play that followed by an open string, open second. Then the second fret on that string, followed by fret six as an upstroke on string three. Finishing with open A as a downstroke. So looking at the final phrase, starting on fret five, we'll run through this a couple of times slowly. Okay, let's have a play from the beginning. Three, four. Let's try that once more. Three, four, and one. Okay, so we'll have a look at, there are two ways when we finish this, depending on if we're repeating part A or going to part B. So the final two notes for the repeat of part A are open second string and then up on fret four of string three. So the final, final part of this before the repeat would be, and then we're back into the beginning of the tune. So that was opens, uh, open second string, and then um, up on fret four of string three. The second time we play it through when we're about to go into part B, we finish with the fourth fret, and then the fifth fret on string two. So uh, the final part going into part the next section would give us this. and that's leading on into part B. So let's finish this first video with a, a play through part A and we'll play the repeat uh, and we'll play the, the pickup notes on the repeat coming back into the beginning. So here we go. Three, four and one. Repeating. 
final note there was the first part in part B. We'll have a look at part B in the second video. Uh, if you visit pigandlessons.com, there's a link in the description there, pigandlessons.com, and, and we'll go through the same, same idea for part B. And we'll, we'll learn each of the phrases, we'll break it down, and we'll spend a little bit of time playing it through. I hope you enjoyed Bill Cheatham on the mandolin. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.